and welcome to the satsang about the third aspect of the heart and it's in here where all your ball game your spiritual ball game change completely because the vocabulary that you have learned during your journey of um, self-responsabilization that was our first video where you decide not to be any more irresponsible for your feelings and you also acknowledge that you are the creator of your reality so that you pass from the constant transformation of me, myself, my issues, my lovers, my job and so on and so forth and you make a big jump into the transmutation part of your heart and you say I am the creator, I am responsible, I accept my boo-boos, I do my best to learn from my uh, choices, they are no good or bad, it's just here for me to learn. And after you, we have passed through the gate of the, uh, that transmutation and we pass into them, into the responsabilization of everything through time and space that your soul have traveled with and for. And you also take responsabilization for your incarnation and you are able to design your incarnation and you're also more conscious uh, seeing that you are the architect of your next step if it's next step because everything happens in the now right and today uh, we're going to explain a little bit the, this gate which is the gate of total nakedness it's the gate where your sincerity and you arrive at the moment where you say, wow, just a minute. I have understood that I am on earth and that I need certain effort, commitment, routines to manifest my potentials. And at the same time, you are seeing that you cannot intervene with your divine plan, with the other decisions that you have take as in a, in a larger in a larger picture so this process in, in this in this gate is a process where you realize oh I am not my physical body all that I have think all that I have feeling all that I have experienced all my journeys through the soul it's just like a big movie in a time and in a space and then you start passing through a gate where you drop all your identity you have no more point of reference and it happens naturally eh? it's not you're not gonna ar arrive here through effort you arrive here through perception and through the commitment to slowly or fast, whatever uh, rhythm you want to take, um, you just arrive to that moment of pure presence that we often speak about, where yes, you are operated in the earth, but you are not attached, you are not, you are in a state of complete presence and neutrality. And this is, this is not the end, but it's a, a certain completion uh, that the heart start to build a much more wider and I'll say sense of involvement. You, you, everything is involved in your perception. Everything um, is, is, is there for you to witness and at the same time to serve. It's in here where your passion, your destiny and your meaning, if, if I can put it that way, start to operate in the present moment. You are establishing that. You are not, you are not concerned anymore about me, I, myself. 
So this is a passage of, of where all the mystics speak as an illumination. However, it has stages. It has the first, when you drop that, I always say to, to my students that that passage is like samurais in the heavens that doesn't let you in if you have one little inch of self-importance, one little inch of things that are based in pride. So a certain humility, and you need to understand what really is humility, because it's, it's not that submissive uh, an acceptance of, of, um, of an authority that you have created about God or a spirit or higher self, not at all. That, that sense of humility is, is more the establishment, I am me, this is me, and I am not me, and this is my pure presence, my pure nature is operating all the time, and I'm not betraying that. So in that communication, in that relationship, it's great love, it's great compassion. It's, it, 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 it's a moment where you are not um, attached to any feelings, but you feel everything. You have a much more larger spectrum of who you are. So it's hard to describe because it's, it's based in a direct experience. However, all I can say is that the mind quiets, you enter more into a deep silence, you are not interested in meaning, purpose, um, meaningful actions, you are more melt with the present moment and with the beauty and grandioseness of each of each moment. However, it's not experienced it as me. It's experienced it more as the always me that have been there all the time. So the first stage of passing through the big heart is is truth. In a sense where you know everything behind the scenes about yourself, about others, and about the planet. You just know behind the scenes and therefore your radar or your third eye is completely witnessing and, and not being tricked by by the ego, don't be tricked by by the self-interest of others. You are just very acutely in contact with truth, with what is the consequence of things, where that come from, what this what is the behind the scene, if I can put it that way. Again, about you, about others, and the globality of Earth. The other part is that you work with synchronicities and therefore you have a great sense of freedom where you are not anymore afraid. The sense of freedom is, I relate it to the fearlessness, the fearlessness of being you, of manifesting things that before you thought you, thought you could not do it, that you were limited. So you have that sense of limitlessness. Uh, you become more a student, more of a learning. You have a deep sense of curiosity. And in that involvement is great love for everything you learn, for everything that is in front of you. So the, the big heart really nourish from the feedback of seeing yourself interacting with everything in creation in a free way. And then all that through certain processes and, and movement, you little by little start accepting that 
you are vibration and this is important because we are working in vibration and prana and breath and that vibration is light and is when you enter into the illumination body you enter into a place where all the cells in your body have accept to shine have accept to be a circle within the circle of light where everything that you see it, you see it and relate to it as vibration, as something that is not, not solid. So the illumination and in my teachings, maybe other, teacher, or other teachers describe it differently, it has a stages and sometimes you don't know you are there until you, your teacher give you the feedback, until you, you start deeply relaxing into your life and deeply relating to the very core of who you are, that, that sense of that sparkle of light. And that sparkle of light is right in the center of your heart. And at the same time, it's all around your heart. So it's like the, the mandala, it gets illuminated. Like, um, have you seen those candles, that, that paper that they put a candle behind, and then they start glowing. So that, that is the state of the structure of, the, of your heart and, and your whole being, actually, where you start accepting the proximity of being a son, of being part of everything and you are the giver of your own life. You start closing your own torus, your own bubble. It starts to seal and to glow. So you recycle your own energy. You are independent from the outside to give you energy, you generate your own energy. And it's in that, this is important because when we are dependent, when we are not in that state of light, we're stealers. We, we, we feel that we need something in order to survive, to feel love and so on and so forth. And, and that it, it harms the earth because we, we are taking more than we need and we are not really acknowledging that we can create our own healing, our own prosperity, our own uh, wisdom, our own love. So this is the moment where all of you embrace all of you in the no time and the no space. It, it, it remembers what is your nature. It remembers what is important, what is permanent, and if there is any feeling, will be silence. Silence of the mind, you are not chatting all the time, and the absence in a way of that commotion of emotions, it's, it's just everything enters into a state of neutrality permanently. It's not like, oh, I need to work now in my neutrality. It's, it's, it's just there, it remains in there, untouched and by any experience. So when we work in, in the third part of the, of, of, of the heart, we are working beyond time, we are working in pure vibration. That's why this, the hummings, um, more meditation, a more relaxation into the experience that you are having directly without wanting to replicate that sense of bliss, that sense of wellness. You are just entering into it and if you are not illuminated quite yet, you don't, you don't make any effort to come back to it. You just simply know that you are in that path, that your structure is, has been formed and in form of different um, data that you need in order to complete that, is that mandala of the heart. 
So that quietness and that quietness is where you're truly, really creative, is when you're truly, really wise, when you're truly, really in love, in gratitude with everything that is happening to you and what is being created and you are in total action, um, an expression of of your gift, of your capacity, no matter what, no matter when, no matter uh, if you're sleeping or awakening. So it's not really any extra, extra superior things that it will happen to you. Enlightenment is, a, is very humbling and very simple. And when you're honest that, okay, I am in here, and it's not a big deal, it's not what I imagine. That relaxation starts to expand and start to unite in these three hearts. And these three hearts um, become one big mandala that relate to the big gray mandala of our solar system. And these are the passages of fusion. But that's another story. My point is here, and it's very coinciding with what I am here in the Madeleines as part of my work. To here in the Madeleines, there are islands, I think I mentioned in another video, they are really representing the three vibrations of the heart. And through these weeks that I have been here, it's about trying to move or loose up or liberate the charges that humanity have put in the island so the island can breathe a little bit her own light and her own heart, her own love. Since this is a place where um, it's disappearing, it's disappearing, the island eventually, the ocean will eat it. It may take a couple thousand years, but it's, it's in the process of dying. But he wants to give that uh, gift to humanity, where um, her history and her process of finding her own unity in the heart is so, so important. So many journeys we have uh, crossed in this island where she teaches us. I am hoping to teach you this at one point. But my point is that within Earth, outside of Earth, and in humanity itself, we're looking for our heart. We're looking for developing and expanding and understanding better our heart. What is it? And to operate from that. Um, where all the technology, all the logic, all the mind um, pull of our society can, co can be compensated. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's just too much for the planet. It's not um, a relationship, a sense of um, compassion with nature, with even with our own self. So our effort here is to continue to create mandalas within. We're working within the body, right? The heart within. There is a heart also without, but that's another story. Why within? Within works with with breath and works with all the elements. So all the elements of vibration and light and also the acknowledgement that if you are in this class you are more than ready to accept that passage either of responsabilization or dropping completely your identity. Every class we have uh, builds up in the other and that's part of the bigger heart. 
the bigger heart builds and the feedback of our life and our contact, our experiences, is highly hunger for learning new things, highly hunger to be seen, to shine. It's not pretentious, but it's firmly established in the opportunity that we have created for ourselves to help Earth and to evolve on Earth. So that heart knows in gratitude, knows that, wow, I have really, I'm here, and this is precious, and I won't lose this time, I won't procrastinate. Everything is a moment that is dynamic, that, that, that is inviting you, not, not, I'm not saying that you are doing, 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 but it's inviting you to learn in whatever action you are doing. And when you are in a state of repose, you are enjoying yourself, like, like when you are in a, in a beach or you're, you're just simply breathing in the pleasure of being alive. So, so with today's class, um, The idea is that you understand that the heart is empty and is full, that is vibration, and that is, it has many layers, and that we can unite that slowly, slowly into a most beautiful, dynamic, energetic, powerful mandala that you are. And that from the heart, you, we can start them put in the vibration in other parts of our body so that mandala can radiate. That will be our, our next journey. But for now, for now is, is, is to, at least for a second, every hour, relate to that because I am sure you have a direct experience. It doesn't get thrown away because of the little me or because of your uh, need to resolve something in, in your life. So start taking these classes as a moment where you can connect with that big heart that always love you no matter what, that always forgive you no matter what, that always is in the now, that always exists and never disappears, that is present and equally in everybody. It's not like my heart is different than your heart. Presence is presence and is in everything and everybody. And when you see it in the other, you start fertilizing your own heart, your own vibration. And the other advice I suggest this, you can draw, you can paint the mandala that it comes either in meditation or just, or just simply make geometry in, in whatever form you can. It can be triangles, uh, circles, etc. But start making some configuration, some kind of a structure where all your belief systems are not just subdivided here and there you're doing one thing and you're thinking other thing and you're feeling other thing. Mm -hmm. That subdivision of action, word and, and mind ha have to unite and it's in the heart that this happens. Now, when I say the gate of crossing where you drop your identification, in, you may feel that little thing that, oh, so if I am not me, then what I am, what, what, you may freak out, or you may just enter directly into serenity. Either way, it's the moment when you know that things that were important before are not anymore. 
that biological dynamics and family, they are not important anymore. That you are a bigger, that you have a bigger family, that you are in a bigger structure of operation. So it's a process and at the same time it can, you can enter into right away. The important part is to recognize that presence, that quietness that I am sure you have experience in these classes. So without saying more about it, let's them knock at the door of the spirit bodies and in your own truth, in your own freedom, in your own illumination and the great opportunity to belong to yourself. Namaste. Call my number.